Hey guys, this is all from the book by Yagaris and back with a new video for you today. Two videos in two days in a row. Who will have thought, right? I didn't after two weeks of hiatus. This is kind of new, but I am ready to get more videos out for you. So, what am I gonna do today? I wanted to try this tag since I saw Miona do this on her channel. I thought it was really fun, entertaining video and I love that she was before her shelf and went for it. So I wanted to try that not, but I didn't want to try it before I got all my books back here because as you have known, as you might have known since my last videos I have been talking about this, I move out of my aunt's place where I had all of my books. I did have some books here, but they were my older books, my original, all the YA novels, you know, John Green, LJ Smith, Rochelle Mead, Cassandra Clare. I grew up with those books, but all my newer, more amazing books were back there. So now that I've shipped them off, they're, they, ha they are here already. I can do this tab, which is the Do I Have That Book tab, which was originally created by Tabby from Keeping Tabs. I am going to link that video down below if you want to check that out, but many have done this tag, so you can also search the, <laughs> search the tab in YouTube and go and watch all of the people who have done it because it's a really cool tag and I love finding out which books my fellow YouTubers have on their shelf. So now it's my turn and I'm gonna do that and you can see which type of books I have and if I have all the prompts, which I don't, I don't know if I have all of the prompts. I don't tend to get some books that are on the tag, so let's see throughout the video if I can find some for those. But without further ado, let's get started on this really fun, fun, fun video. So the first one is, do you have a book with deckle edges? I do have a book with deckle edges. It's The Grass on the Dawn by Renée Adier. This is one of my favorite books and series or duology. It's two books and I love it. I had to have it on physical form. I do have The Rose and the Dagger and they both have deckle edges. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. I didn't know it had them, but when I, like when I got it, I was really perplexed or surprised, but it was a good surprise. I, I really love deckle edges. I adore this edition. I think they change it. I don't know. Like I know the paperback is different. I don't know if they changed their hardcover, but I really love this edition. Next is, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I. <laughs> this is so hard. I I don't have. I think I don't have a books with three or more people on the cover, but I do have a graphic novel. I count it. There's three people, okay? The baby counts. I have Saga. I I love this cover. I love the art of this graphic novel. I've only read, I think I've only read volume one and part of volume two. I haven't finished volume two, but I really, really love this art and the stories is good from what I've read. <laughs> Next is, do you have a book based on another fictional story? This book isn't based on the story. It's more like inspire. I, it's not a really retelling retelling, but you get aspects and elements from the original source. So that's really fun. I always really, really like retellings, but not on the page retellings, like maybe the characters are a certain way, the original characters were that way, or the romance usually develops through that same um, path. And that is, the only thing worse than me is you by Lily Anderson. This is my favorite YA romance novel. This is 
inspired by much ado about nothing by shakespeare <laughs> and i love it it's said in a genius academy the main protagonists who are cole beatrice and venedict <laughs> are genius they are the third and fourth place of their school year like at their at their grade the first and second place go to their best friends who suddenly start going out so they have to spend more time together and they hate each other but they now have to spend more time together because their best friends are dating and i love that it said in a genius school because <laughs> I love it. I love genius kids. I'm not a genius kid, but I love watching and reading genius kids. Like, I don't know if you all saw or watch Prince of Tennis, this anime about tennis. And it was really, it's not really that old, but it's an oldie. And it's so good. And it's about this kid. I think he was like 14 or 13. And he is a genius in tennis, but what, like an actual genius. <laughs> and out. <laughs> Next is, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? I do. A Sweet Mess by J.C. Lee. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Exactly. Am I the Elmo on Fire gift? So yeah, I have not read this yet, but I think it's about Baker and a food critic romance next is do you have a ti do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter yes i do it's life on the level by soraida cordova and it's, it starts with an l and ends with an l and this is the third book in her on the verge series this is the third and final book this was part of her new adult book series with diversion books and it's a really fun series i have all three and i enjoy all three so the airing goes to a rehab center and meets this guy in the rehab center he's like a nurse or he works there yeah he's like the counselor in her rehab center and definitely off limits but she had a one night stand with him before going to the rehab so they have unresolved villains, but I don't know why. I don't remember why she went into rehab. I don't know if she. I remember he had. She had like. I remember she had like a gaming addiction, but I, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Do you have a mass market paperback book? I do. I have a millions. <laughs> not millions, but I have a few and. I chose to showcase The Duchess Dill by Tessadur, one of my favorite historical romances. It's inspired by Beauty and the Beast. He needs a wife to give him an heir because I think his dukedom, dukedom is that correctly said? Well, he needs an heir to secure his dukedom and she just Waltz it's through his door. Well, she doesn't waltz through his door. She runs through his door in a wedding dress. Like she is wearing a full on wedding dress. When he first sees her and he's like, you're perfect. Would you like to be my bride? And it's a marriage of convenience. Look, if you have not tried to the dare book and you want to, the Duchess deal is like the perfect option. So next is, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Okay, so I am going to show you a strip by Zoe Castle. This is the pen name of Soraida Cordova, who wrote also this one. She wrote a whole romance series with Ken Sing Chan under the name of Zoe Castle. And this is a stripper romance. The guy is a stripper and the the heroine is a kindergarten teacher, elementary school teacher, but they may because they're neighbors in the same apartment complex. So there's a bit of a confusion at the beginning. That's how they made, and it's a really wonderful book. But I also want to show Cherishing the Goddess by Lucy Eden. I think Lucy Eden is a pen name. 
I love Louisiana, like her books are so good and I just finished Bear With Me by her and it's a paranormal shifter romance novella it's really short and i am going to talk about it soon in the accidentally in love book club i am going to be talking about this book with paula and me and possibly the video is going to come out soon so i'm going to link that when it's ready for you so you can see it and also i'm going to obviously promote it in my twitter so keep an eye on that but yeah cherishing the goddess it's wonderful i think they are enemies to lovers next is do you have a book with a character's name in the title so i have when dimple met rishi by sandia menan dimple is the main character and funny story i just watched the trailer for i think it's, i don't know if it's a movie or a tv show I think it's a movie called Mismatch and it's coming out on Netflix on November something <laughs> and it's an adaptation of this book and the trailer is so wonderful if you want to see that go to my Twitter I retweet that and went nuts but yeah I really really like that we're getting more book adaptations especially romance adaptations and YA adaptations like we are getting the Bridgerton series on December 25th and <laughs> while I didn't read the Bridgerton series and I'm not planning on doing it I am excited for more romance related TV show or movie content in our lives so I'm open to anything next is do you have a book with two maps in it yeah an Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. There is one map on the front and then one map on the back. This is a really fun book. Like, I have not read past book one. Everyone, do not gel at me. <laughs> okay, yes, shout at me to read the second, third, and I think the fourth book is out now. Or are we waiting on the fourth book? I'm not sure, but one, what I am sure and what I do know is that everyone is both dreading and anticipating the upcoming book. I think this series is very painful. Like, I read the first book and it's wonderful. If I do that, I will know all your pains, people. Like, I will know why are you suffering so much because of this book series. But right now, I do not know why but i am here for you and i promise i'm going to read the sequels because i have to like the series is so good do you have a book that was turned into a tv show so it's tiny pretty things and this book will have a tv show really really soon from netflix i i don't know if they have announced the date yet i saw something i saw that the authors like reveal the cover for the tv show like now you can get like the book with the tv show cover but i don't know if they said uh, the release date for the tv show then do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else i do not i search i swear i search for on my shelf and even books that are owned by my dad but I don't have anything do you have a book with a clock on the cover I do I have you out of nowhere by Jay Etria and he is wearing a clock there so I am counting that as a win um, do you have a poetry book I do not own any poetry book I don't usually read poetry and if I do I have them on my kindle like i love down lanuse's poetry books i'm going to like show you the covers over here and they're really really good that's the only poetry i read <laughs> do you have a book with an award stamp on it i do i have the thief i think that's an award stamp the newberry honor book and I love this series. I read three books. I gave 
this book three stars because it's the start of the series and you are only getting like the introduction to what it is going to be so i get this three stars but the next two books are like five stars <laughs> like it level up seriously it level it level up Mm, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? I don't. My initials are SR and I don't have any author. Do you have a book of short stories? I am going to count this as a book with short stories. It's an Oscar Wilde like anthology. It has the picture of Dorian Gray but it also has like the Canterville stories. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? I, I do. In fact, I do. And that is Winter Song by S.J. Jones. It has exactly 100, it has exactly 504 pages. And then like a little, like the letter counts because it's part of the novel. So 508 pages If you liked a labyrinth the movie where David Bowie Was the lead and he was the goblin king this book in God's inspiration behind that movie And it's about goblin king who kidnaps the sister of the protagonist so this so the protagonist now has to travel to the underworld or where the goblin king lives and change like change places then do you have a movie <laughs> do you have a book that was turned into a movie yes house moving castle i have not read this one but i love the movie and i want to read the book because everyone loves it like everyone loves this book and they say that it's sort of different from the movie like the movie took another aspect of the book like they decided to go this way and the, the book is this way but they both like complement each other so well so i am definitely going to read this and i am so excited to relieve all my stuffy how emotions because they are one of my favorite all-time couple to be honest and do you have a graphic novel the Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. This is a very, very cute graphic novel. And it has like tea dragons, like they, it has dragons, like little tiny beautiful dragons. And they are supposed to be based on tea bags. And it's really, really good, right? So yeah. So that's like the Air Grey Tea Dragon. And this is the Ginger Tea Dragon. And I really love the art from Katie. It's super pretty. This is a very adorable book. <laughs> and finally, finally people, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Of the Eyes, written by Avon Gill and Piper Vaughn. I love this hockey romance. And it's about this hockey player, Tristan, who knows he is not going to be in hockey forever like he knows if an injury happens he's done he wants to graduate he wants to get his business degree so he can have like a second option if something happens during his hockey years and there he meets his new teacher sebastian who teaches so so sociology he's so, so <laughs> he's a sociology class and they like really get attracted to each other but Sebastian knows like he, Tristan is his student so he's not going to do anything but when summer classes are over Sebastian will make his move and I love this book it's one of my favorite books I I know I say that for every single book but I swear to god this is amazing like this is amazing <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had lots of fun finding books through my bookshelves. Now I'm kind of lazy to put them back together. That's the horrible part, right? Put in all the books you took out for a video or a picture. But now I'm going to take them back because I don't like to see mess 
in my room, especially not with my books. So yeah, I'll see you the next time, my beautiful people. Thank you. Bye.